Hey there, as an entrepreneur, business owner, you've probably heard this advice about branding. Be entertaining, provide value, offer something new and innovative, look appealing. Now, there's nothing wrong with that advice. And I'm also here to talk about how that's only going to, going to take you so far. Hi, I'm Gail Nowak. And today I want to riff a little bit on the differences between conventional logic-based branding, which is fundamentals, it's good stuff to know, and golden age branding and balanced branding. So what I just shared um, is really the foundations of of branding and it's high level overview type stuff. And it's only gonna take you so far because it's a premise that's, that's built on old conditioning. It's basically built on becoming and being popular. <laughs> when you really think about it and you strip it all back, it's really focused on how can you become popular in your field. Now, while these concepts are tried and true, they're lacking the most important element. This is not something I know a few people who are experts in this, but generally speaking, and keep in mind, I'm trained in my, I have a 25 year career in marketing and PR. And so I'm trained in this traditional foundational piece. And it's important. But what I never learned and what I see very rarely in the coaching space, in the consulting space, is that branding doesn't talk about the most important element. And that is you, the real you your energy, your soul, your higher self. And that's golden age branding principles. That's all about tuning into your desires, embracing your discomfort, dancing with your dark side, doing inner work to keep your energy clear and connecting with your divinity every single day. First, First, doing all of that first, then applying the foundations that are external. That's all about the inside first. And here's the thing, the world is shifting, okay? We're shifting into higher consciousness. Consumers, your clients are far more savvy than they were even five years ago, never mind 25 years ago, which is when I started to learn um, and apply these foundational concepts in my career that were created probably 25 to 50 years before that. Okay, so think about that. More and more people are choosing, consciously, intentionally choosing to live, decide, and buy from the fifth dimension their multi-dimensional state. We are multi-dimensional creatures. We're not just these, you know, physical bodies on this physical earth. We have emotions, we have energy, we have, we have thoughts, we have beliefs. And all of that plays into why we feel drawn and aligned to certain products and certain um, mentors and teachers. And so why not have that element in your branding, right? Fewer and fewer people will ultimately align with brands and businesses solely created in and operating from that old way, which focuses quite a bit on survival, competition, separation, um, scarcity, fear of missing out, you know, th that lower, denser energy. So you really want to think about balancing your branding, 
Okay, it's about informing the physical foundation and repre representation of your work from the inside out. It's all about that deep, expansive, compassionate, abundant energy at the core. Okay, and when it comes to being seen, and I mean truly being seen, it's so much more than just getting noticed, right? Like it make it kind of, I, I've been seeing some things lately that makes me think about, you know, when you're a kid and you want your friends or you want your parents to notice you, like I've, I've kind of been seeing that lately. And it's like, we have an opportunity to connect on a far deeper level but you've got to bring the energy with you. So all of that is to say, like, let's not throw out the foundations. I'm not saying that, but let's, let's get past the skimming the surface. Let's, let's go deeper than what we're putting out there externally, because it's going to be a reflection of what's going on on the inside anyway. So if what you're doing, for example, to boost your visibility isn't resonating with you, kind of feels icky, it's, it's going to have the same impact on your audience. You know, no matter how great your headshots are, no matter, um, you know, how eye-catching your, your Instagram feed is, if, if it's not resonating with you, it's not going to resonate with your followers, with your audience, with your clients. They're going to they're gonna sense that. Okay. So pay attention, you know, pay attention to how you're feeling about your own branding, about your own marketing, about your own ways of showing up and talking about your business, promoting your business. And if you want support with that, you know, please reach out to me. I'm doing a a, a retreat in September called Bold Heart Visibility that really dives into these concepts of understanding who you are at your core, um, removing any blocks that you might have from showing up more authentically um, to, to share <laughs> your work with people, to soulfully promote your business um, to understand your human design and how that might inform the way that you do your marketing. So if you'd like more information about that, please feel free to reach out to me. You can email me at gail at the story I also work privately with clients. So if you're, if you're really feeling like you need support in sorting this out, then I invite you to reach out to me and uh, let's just set up a, a, a complimentary call you know, no obligation, and we can talk through some of these things. So that's it for this week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.